This is how I would have started my motion design career all over again in 2026 in the era of AI. So hello guys, my name is Soman and you are watching Purple Pie Studios. So I have been in this industry since the year 2018 and I have seen this industry evolve over the years, especially during the pre and the post pandemic era. And uh, right now it feels like we are at the end game. So AI is here and it's going to do either of these two things. It's either going to uh, make us completely irrelevant or it's going to open whole new doors for us. So if you are uh, someone who, are, who is planning to start uh, their motion design career in the year 2026 or if you are already in this industry and uh, is worried about uh, how, uh, how the future is going to be, uh, how AI is going to impact our work this industry then this video is for you so if you uh, if anywhere this video is helpful to you then consider liking this video subscribing this channel and um, if you get the hype button below do hype this video as well that will help this video reach out to newer audiences so that being said let's get started with the very first thing you need to do that is master the basics so if I were starting out today, the first thing I would do before touching a piece of software or writing a prompt is to master the basics. Now don't get me wrong here, you obviously need to know the basics of some tools at least to create something and we will also cover that in the later section of this video. But my point here is uh, if you early on focus all your energy on mastering the tool or learning all the different soft uh, sort of softwares then you are building on a shaky foundation. Well the reason is tools and techniques change, technologies evolve, uh, the techniques we used like five years ago is irrelevant today and the techniques we will be using in 2026 will also be irrelevant by 2030. So there's no point in just mastering the tools and techniques. But the one thing that remains timeless and that never expires is the foundation. Well, what do I mean by the foundation? The first thing is the design principle. There's a huge misconception going on that the only thing that you need to learn right now is to how to talk to AI to make an art. And that is completely wrong. So if you want to distinguish yourself from the millions of people creating content with AI, then you need to know the why of things. And here I'm talking about composition, color theory, balance, and typography. AI can create an image in seconds, but it often fails to understand why an image looks good, why a certain color combination makes you feel sad and why a certain layout guides your eye to the buy button. That's your value. That's your job. And then you need to learn the animation principles. Once you have the eye for design, then you need to learn how things move. And here I'm talking about the timeless 12 principles of animation. So things like timing, spacing, squash and stretch, all of that. So these are the roots of physics that makes your motion feel real and appealing. No matter how advanced tools like Sora or VO3 gets, if you don't understand timing, your edit will feel off. So the tools are like the pen and how you write it is the foundation. Step two is you need to think like a marketer. So this is the step many creative people skip and that hurts their career. Whether you are a freelancer or part of an uh, in-house team, ultimately you will be working on projects that are part of a marketing initiative and that for that reason you need to think like a marketer you need to know what works so your uh, work ultimately need to bring result so when i started i thought my job was just to make things look cool i wanted smooth motion unique transitions and nice effects but over the time i learned that businesses just don't pay for being cool they actually pay for revenue growth so you need to ask yourself do this design hook the audience in first three seconds? Does it have a high click through rate? Does it actually convert viewers into customers? And to do this, you need to have a basic understanding of marketing. So learn the marketing funnel and also learn a bit of copywriting as well because text is also a major part of motion design. And most importantly, learn storytelling and cinematography. So in 2026, you shouldn't just focus on being creative. Your work also need to be result oriented. So if you your work or if your videos can make money if you can prove that then you will never be replaced by AI and this is actually valid not just for motion designer uh, if you are a graphic designer if you are a video editor if you are a 3d artist this is valid for you as well and step three is learning the tools 
Now let's talk about the softwares. Even in the era of AI, the traditional tools are still going to be relevant. As far as I can see, in, even in the near future, the tools are still going to be relevant because uh, ultimately you will need some kind of software or a tool to implement. Uh, even if you create something using AI, you have to do some customization. Maybe uh, you have to do some editing or maybe you are using AI for conceptualization or storyboarding. Then later on, you have to create something uh, in a tool or in a software. So ultimately, you would need a software to turn raw ideas or files into an actual story that can be sellable. So if you want to get into 2D, then After Effects is the way to go because for 2D motion design, After Effects is still the best available software out there. And other than that, I would also suggest you to learn either uh, Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve for video editing. And also do learn uh, Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or even basics of both to create or edit others design assets or you can even create own your own design assets uh, uh, in these softwares as well but for that you also need to have some advanced um, you need to learn the advanced techniques of the software as well but if you learn the basics you would actually at least be able to edit others design assets as well and if you want to take the 3d route then the options you have are Cinema 4D, Autodex Maya, or Blender. Blender is a open source software as well. Uh, well, there are other 3D options as well, but uh, these are the softwares that are widely used uh, in the industry, uh, especially for motion design. Uh, by the way, if you want to learn After Effects from scratch, then I have a lot of beginner-friendly courses uh, in After Effects on motion design here in this channel. I will be putting the link in the description. Those are freely available for everyone. So go check them out. And also there are also other great online design schools as well that, like uh, School of Motion, uh, Motion Design Schools. Uh, you can also enroll in one of their courses as well. And uh, they are also great. I have I would highly rec recommend them to enroll on one of their courses. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video because I personally have learned a lot from their uh, tutorials as well. But here is the 2026 twist. You have to learn how to use AI tools. And I'm talking about the image generation and the video generation models like Gemini, VO3, uh, Sora and uh, Runway. So you need to learn how to integrate these tools into your workflow. I mean, almost all the ads you see these days are created with some sort of AI integration. So even big studios are today using AI intensively into their workflow. I mean, last one and one and a half years, the projects I have worked on, I think almost all of them had some sort of AI integration. So yeah, that is a major role. Uh, AI is actually playing a major role in motion design but you have to know how to use it not just uh, fear about it and even if you go to linkedin and uh, check the job description of some of the motion design roles you one thing you will uh, find common is the requirement to know how to use these ai tools so all i would say is stay up to date be a lifelong learner don't fear these tools learn how to use it and add them into your utility belt and finally practice practice a lot you can watch a hundred tutorials, but until you open the software and try to create something, you are not learning. Look, the industry is changing. It's scary. I know that. But if you master the basics of design and motion, uh, then uh, you also know how to bring businesses revenue. And also, if you uh, are able to learn uh, how to... Uh, integrate the AI tools into your workflow, how to use AI tools to speed up your workflow rather than just fearing about it, replacing you, then you are going to be fine. And in fact, you are actually going to be ahead of everyone else. So if you find this roadmap helpful, then consider liking this video, subscribing this channel and do uh, hype this video as well if you get that button uh, below in the comment section and also uh, if you want to learn after effects from scratch then uh, i will be linking all the uh, free courses that i have in my channel uh, below in the description you can check them out and also do let me know what's your biggest fear in 2026 let's have a discussion in the comment section so that is all from my end i will see you in the next video